Hey, how you doing? And welcome back to Every Day is Different. Today, we're back on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts for the third week of Taskmaster. So, what's the challenge for this week? Well, 1940s tech, United States versus Italy. 12,000 meter starting range. Three battleships versus three battleships and five battlecruisers. For each battleship we destroy, uh, we get five points. For each battlecruiser we destroy, it's we gain two points. For each battleship we lose, we lose five points. And you might be thinking, oh, well that just seems like a normal challenge. Well, to top it all off, when we design our ships, we have to have at least 15 main guns and 60 or more secondary guns. So it's going to be a crazy potent build that we're about to build. We can have any size we want. It's just going to be guns galore. It's going to be amazing. So I think we're just going to get into designing. Because I want to see what we can do here. Once again guys, uh, before we get into designing. If you're new around here, please feel free to just subscribe. We've had a massive growth over the past couple of weeks and it's been just mind-blowing to me and i'm really glad that all of you are enjoying the videos so please feel free to subscribe if you're enjoying them and yeah let's just get into designing okay so we're going to go for full displacement 27 knots air bulkheads maximum we just go gear turbines two oil balanced Orcs, four, shaft, two, Krupp, four, barbette, three, anti-torp, two, double bottom, reinforce, two, anti-flood, three, citadel, four, heavy shells, high TNT, now if we, in case we put torpedoes on it, we're going to go for... Oxygen, uh, auto loaders, electro hydraulic turrets, um, coincidence five, acoustics hydro three, advanced gen two. Right, let's lower modern tower on it. We'll put, um, I think I'm going to go for the just modern secondary tower. That gives me loads of room in the centre to put guns on. Uh, how about there? Okay. Uh, let's go for... I think I'm going to go for a mixture of 16 and 15 inch guns. So let's go for 16 inch there. And a 16 inch in the middle there. We'll get a standard superimposed barbette there. And we're going to put a 16 inch gun there. And then we're going to go 15 inch guns for a little bit faster rate of fire there. I wonder if, can we put a barbette in there? No, no we can't. Any sort of barbet? No, no barbets go in there. Okie dokie. And we'll go for a 15 inch triple in here also. There. Oh, no, that was meant to be a 16 inch gun there. 16 inch right there. So we got eight. Oh, no, never mind. I haven't put a 15 inch gun on the front as well. And there. Um, seems like we've got. I'm going to move that back. Move that back a little. That back a little. There. Wonder if that can go back one. And move that back. There we go. Check the firing angles. Okay. So we've got 18 guns on it, a uh, mixture of 16 and 15 inch, inch guns because well, why not? Secondaries, so I think 6 inches fit on here, 6 inch guns fit here, yep they do, so that's that, oh hello. Uh, 
why has it suddenly made it spin? Uh, <laughs> it never normally spins when I press WASD. What the fuck is going on here? Um, my control scheme just suddenly seems to have shifted. Uh, um, okay, we'll make it work, I guess. And WASD has suddenly just started making it... What has happened? Um, okay. Nope, okay. Right, um... That's a strange one. My, like literally right in the middle of recording, my control scheme has just gone from WASD moving the camera around to making it... What? But now it's gone back to... I'm so confused. Oh well, anyway. Four inch guns now. Uh, there. Nope, and now it's switched back to... What? I'm so confused. It's never done this before. And then suddenly right now it's just been like, ah, you know what? I'm just going to completely change your control scheme suddenly, randomly. Uh, triple, no, I think it's singles I can fit. Single, 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 and a single... And uh, we can fit two up here as well. There we go. Right. Um, right, let's just check how many... Please. How many guns do we have on it? So, we've got 18 main guns. And we have... Uh, yeah, we definitely have, we definitely have enough secondaries as well. Okay, how much do we have left? Twenty nine, no, nineteen thousand tons. Oh, we can get definitely. Oh, oh, I haven't put on any t funnels yet. That's an interesting one. <laughs> um, mega funnel three, right there. Mega funnel two. Okay, oh my goodness, this is annoying me. Why has it suddenly changed? Uh, we'll move that forward. Move that forward. We'll move. No, oh, come on. Let me grab a hold of that. That can come forward. That can go. Get rid of that. Oh, I need to get 15 inch gun again. Right there. That can go forward to there. And now we should be able to fit a fun line. There we go. Right. Um, okay. We'll see if we can fit some torpedoes in actually. Right there. And uh, there. Uh, any more? Anywhere? Oh, okay, right. Oh, okay. Okie dokie. And uh, we'll just see if we can't equal out the... There we go, right there. Okay, so we have got some torpedoes on it. We've got loads of weight left, so put that to say 18. Yep. That to 10. Yep. That can go up to 9. That can go up to 6. Yep. That can go up to 20. 20. 9. Nope. 7. And 8. Uh, see if we can get that up to 19. And uh, this can go up to 11. Okay. A little bit less, a little bit less, a little bit less. 
Okay, so this is what we've got. Loads of secondaries and loads of main guns. Uh, let's see what it looks like. So, a huge ship. Let's launch it. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, so this will just compare the size of my ship to it. It's hilarious. Okay, let's get to battle. So, let's turn a little bit. I'm going to put them to aggressive. And we're going to speed it up a little bit so my turrets can get turned. Tor torpedoes are already in the water. So many torpedoes in the water. 30 torpedoes in the water. Oh my lord. Right, I'm going to switch fire to that one sort of in the center. And we will turn it a bit inwards. Come on, let's get some damage in quick. Big damage, we want big damage. Not against us guys, come on. Oh, we don't want that much damage. There's so many rounds coming in. Come on, get some big hits on it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I need something. I need something to sink it super quickly. I just want to get it down. I only have 45 minutes to sink them all. Come on. Yes, there we go. Big hit. That is what we want. Yep, more big hits. Good. Flooding. Come on, more hits, more hits. More hits. Yep, there we go. There's one down. Switch fire to that one. Uh, not that much turning. That much. We have got big hits going in. Um, what else do we have going on? Let's have a look. Um, that one's taken damage. That one's taken damage. Stuff is taking a lot of damage, but I'm taking damage too. Good ammo detonation. I don't think anything's going to hit the torpedoes. Just purely because they've gone in the wrong direction. There's another down. There's another down. Good. Okay, switch damage. Over to that one. Okay, we got two down so far. This is good. This is quick and we like it. We like it when it's gonna everything's gonna go down quick. Let's have a look at what do we even have going on with their ships? Big fire going on there. Okay, so they only have they have gun not loads of guns. Hmm. It is scary when I initially saw that like massive load of just rounds coming in. Okay, let's turn it more. But my ships are just absolutely monstrous. Look at these things. Just give it a pause, just to take a look at. Could you imagine if you ever came up facing one of these? Oh, it is crazy. Come on, right, let's get some more sunk. We've only got 45 minutes to do it, but we've only taken six minutes. We've already got two ships down, which is good. Which is good, it's good, it's good. Come on, let's get more big hits going in. The battle cruisers shouldn't be too hard because battle cruisers have hardly any armor. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So you've taken a bit of damage, not any, none. Bit of damage there, none. And a bit of damage there, that's fine. If we can get that one down quick, it'll be great. We just need a couple more big hits in on it. Because it's going so slow now as well, it should be much easier to hit. Come on, come on, I need one more big hit. I need a couple more big hits on it. Okay, let's switch that one. That one's side on. 
it's got more of a broadside. Um, there we go. There we go. That's that one down. Uh, go a bit more straight. Right, that's three down. Come on. This one's more broadside, more damage. It's got a higher chance of being able to damage us. Because it can get all its gun on some target. Come on, get it in, get it in. There we go. Big hit, big hit. Can you imagine getting hit by a 15... Like, an 18-inch shell. That was like the size of the Yamato's guns, wasn't it? 18 inches. That is humongous. When you think about how big, like, tank shells are, and you think, oh, that tank has, like, a 105mm gun, or 120mm gun like the Abrams, and you think, Jesus, that is a huge shell when you see them and you see like loads of shooting them and loading the guns up you're like that is massive but then think about these things 16 inches that is ridiculous mind blowing just things that are this big just blow my mind from how humongous they are Come on, let's get a few more big hits. I want to get that one sunk. Flash fire, that one's down. Right. Switch fire to there. Have they crashed? They sure have. Okay, uh, I want to get him going more in towards the enemy. Uh, no, we'll go there. Right, we are going to... No, no, actually we're not going to. We're going to leave them together. We're going to leave them all together. Actually, that's one thing I haven't done. Uh, slow them down. Get that accuracy bonus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Big hits. I need big hits. Come on. 10 minutes. We're only 10 minutes in. We've got 35 minutes left to sink only half the ships. Boom. Come on. Couple more t a couple more shells. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good. Good. Come on. Keep it going. 28%. It is flooding. Come on, I need a couple more big hits. Come on. It could sink actually, right? Switch over to the Tiger, because that could sink. But all its bulkheads at the bottom are flooding. It just depends on how good its anti flood is. Uh, standard bulkheads, anti flood 2. Uh, it might go. It might go. Depends. We're going to keep the fire on that one. Uh, nine. I'm going to keep it on at eight. Seven. Come on. Come on. Sink. Okay, right. Detach one. And get your fire onto there. Come on. I want to get that one down. That's very close to going down. Come on, 6%. Come on, I need to hit something. Come on, come on, come on. Boom, hit. Tiger, down. Switch to the stafeta. Actually, you know what? No. Let's just get that down. Come on, come on, we've not got long left. Uh, how much time have you taken? A bit now. <laughs> come on, you have 2%. 1%. Get down, get down, get down. Good, you're done. Right. Uh, get everything onto the stafetta. And you, 
start firing on that one. Come on. Come on. Get it down. Just a little bit more, a little bit more. 14, 13. One more big hit's all I really need on it, and it's going to be gone. Come on. We're just over the 15 minute mark. Come on, one more big hit. Please. Please. Three. Is it going to go down? Two. Okay, you know what? We're going to switch fire. That's going to do it, surely. Yeah, that's done. Right. Switch fire. Switch fire. Get all guns on that ship. Down. It's done. Nine minutes. Oh no, sorry. 17 minutes of in-game time. Considering we have 40... 45 minutes of in-game time to do it. And it only took... Four... No, it only took 17 or whatever it was. That went down so quick. Wow. Not gonna lie, I loved that ship as well. There were so many guns on it. Oh! It was brilliant. And we didn't do lose a single one of our ships as well. So that is 25 points total. We got all the points. Uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing what the other guys do. And if any of you guys have a go at the challenge, let me know how you do. And uh, if you ever post it on YouTube, let me know. I'll just put it in the description. And I'm just going to make a list of all of them in the description of each video. And uh, people can check out anybody else's there. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, go and check out Stealth's video, even though you've probably come over to mine from his. And History Guy Gaming's now that he's in on the chat in the uh, Taskmaster videos as well. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.